Hi everybody, Rob Keys here, and I wanted to make this video the first ever episode in a new series called What's in the Box. Um, today I woke up pretty sick, sore throat, my eyes are just killing me. Um, but I got something in the mail which made me feel a lot better. So I'm going to open it up and do a little bit uh, of an unboxing video. This is something I was hoping to get for Game Rant a couple of weeks ago. Um, and if you're a gamer, you probably know what it is. But I finally have my copy of Grand Theft Auto V. Um, today, the day I'm recording this video, it is September 18th. The game came out yesterday, and as we just found out from Take Two Interactive and uh, Rockstar Games, it sold 800 million dollars worth in its first day, making it the single biggest entertainment launch ever. It even outsold Grand Theft Auto 4, which came out you know, over five years ago now. Um, in the box, I got a few bits of swag from Rockstar. There is uh, this thing. It's a power magnet. I don't know if you can see the text on it, but it just says Grand Theft Auto V. It's lightly engraved. Um, warning, strong magnet. It can disrupt computers. Oh, I shouldn't put it into the computer. Anyway, cool magnet. Um, these sheets are probably just uh, information, how to install it, a little information on the, on, the, on the story and stuff. Probably an embargo date, which doesn't matter. The embargo lifted Monday. The day before the game came out, and of course, no one, um, and I made a video for this for the Game Ram channel, no one on our site had even played it. So, with the game being 70 or whatever plus hours, it's kind of annoying that our review is going to be at least a week late. We're hoping to have um, one of our guys who are playing it now uh, have it ready for the weekend. So, for now, we're just covering Grand Theft Auto V news and writing a few features about it, but we, none of us have finished the game. I haven't even started playing it yet. Um, what else have we got? A stack of miniature $100 bills. I uh, don't think I can get away with spending this. It looks like it's a... Oh no, is it hard? Or is it a stack? I don't know. It's like a thick cardboard mini $100 bill. Uh, the United States of Paranoia. <laughs> Alright. Got a big GTA 5 sticker. The official logo. A... Uh, it looks like a pack of stickers based on the characters of Grand Theft Auto V. You got um, Franklin, uh, Trevor, and I forget the other guy's name, but there's all three of them in there, plus a dog. And it looks like there's a logo in there as well. Pretty cool. And uh, another thing of stickers. Man, they really like their stickers. These are the brands of uh, Grand Theft Auto V. All the funny parody companies. Oops, just go like that. Yeah. So that's kind of neat. And uh, it looks like this is... Got a t-shirt here. San Andreas Federal Reserve System. Probably a key part of the story. It is usually when I get t-shirts and, and any clothing related to video games, it's always like super XXL. And uh, you know I can use it for a blanket, none of it fits me. This is a large, still a little too big. So um may give that to one of the writers or uh, Give it away the next time Game Rant goes to an event or convention. Got a little uh, keychain <laughs> uh, based on a brand in the game, Bug Stars. You saw the Bug Stars sticker right here. And two little boxes, they're pretty heavy. Um, previously, when Rockstar released Max Payne 3, they gave out uh, like a I don't know, 40 or 50 caliber bullet that was like a USB key, I think. So I think in this, I have a feeling one of these might be a bullet. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's a bullet. It's a bullet whistle with the uh, Grand Theft Auto V logo on it. Uh, you probably can't see that. And this is also kind of heavy. A little mini box. It's a gold bar. <laughs> it's a gold bar. Uh, it's a USB key. So it probably has all the game assets on it, like um, trailers and screenshots for the review. There's a little a slider at the bottom there. So that's kind of a neat, um, fun swag box. If we ever get our Game Rant office set up and get all of our writers together, we would put a lot of the stuff on the wall, I guess, and hand it out. It's kind of like free swag for the readers, but uh, we all work from home right now. Um, so that's pretty cool. Rockstar also, going back to the release of L.A., um, nor uh, they handed out all sorts of swag to other sites. Um, I think we for that one we got like a little notebook, like a pen and paper, because that's what you use as a detective in the game. But 
yeah, pretty neat stuff. So I uh, also got Beyond Two Souls yesterday from Sony, and that comes out three weeks from now. The embargo is August 8th. Today is uh, September 18th. So I have a lot of time to play that, but I am out of the country next week. So um, I'm going to try to play that this weekend, and then as soon as I get back, so I definitely want to have that review ready to go on launch day. So we're pretty happy that Sony gave us a chance to review that. Uh, along with all the other publications. So until next time, that is your first episode of What's in the Box.